When it comes to going out to eat, Houston, Texas has got to be one of the best cities in the entire world. But sometimes a restaurant's atmosphere can leave you feeling rather ill. As if my stomach wasn't churning enough from walking into Fuzzy's Pizza and Cafe on Antoine and seeing the first two items on the menu were the President and Barbara Bush pizzas, I had to sit underneath a wall of photos of this so-called man. You see, Papa Bush lives not too far from where I do, and when he frequents a business in this city, it's often turned into a shrine of sorts. When I saw that Secret Service agent walk in the door and scope the place out, I knew lunch was only going downhill. Sure enough, several minutes later, the entourage arrived. I went out to my car to get my camera and come back in and give this so-called man a piece of my mind. Murderous Zionist piece of shit. You won't get your new world order, guy. I can't, you are you happy for the millions of deaths you're part of? People know. People are waking up to the reality of this, Mr. Bush, you piece of shit. Listen, that's unnecessary. No, it is not unnecessary. The guy is responsible for killing millions. If you knew anything about real history... Fuck you! Fuck you. This was not a planned action event. I wasn't there to educate other people. It was a spur-of-the-moment situation, and I took advantage of the opportunity to vent my frustrations in the face of a mass murderer responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of innocent people, including our last real president, John F. Kennedy. What's that? Well, hey, man. Some pretty dirty clientele you keep. In hindsight, I thought maybe I should have brought up the Franklin cover-up and his gay pedophile tendencies, or Iran Contra and his drug running, or his involvement in occult rituals at the Bohemian Grove, or his theft along with the Clintons of millions of dollars through the Bush-Clinton-Katrina Fund, or his relations with the Bin Ladens, or his calls for a, a new world, world order. order. The list goes on and on for anyone educated with real history. Even though I did not mention any specific crimes, and I basically just cursed out the old diabolical psychopath, I'm glad I did it. There are millions of people around this world who have broken free of the propaganda. I'd like to encourage each and every one of you to stand up and speak out in the face of tyranny each and every time it rears its ugly head. Freedom will prevail.